In this video, we'll go through exam questions that cover the criteria calculate the squares of one digit and two digit numbers. You can locate the questions on the mathmath.com website under level one. The questions come from different exam boards. We'll start with the non-calculated questions and then we'll move to the calculated questions. So this is about square numbers. It links well with area. So if I'm going to try and represent here what 4 squared means, so we've got supposedly a square here. So 4, 4, 4 by 4. So 4 times 4 is 4 squared. So the 4 multiplied by itself. That gives us 16. If we had 5 by 5, that would be 25. If we have 3 squared, that is 3 times 3, which is 9. So you get the idea. Now we've got to calculate 12 squared. You might know this by heart. It's 144 if you know your timetables by heart. But if you don't, that's not a problem in this particular case. So you just go and multiply 12 by 12. So 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 1 is 2. Putting a 0 down as we move into the tens. So 1 times 2, that is 2. 1 times 1 is 1. Adding these together gives us 144. Test does voluntary work for a local nature group. The group wants to estimate the number of wildflower plants in a field. To calculate the area of the field, Tess has to work out 40 squared. Calculate the value of 40 squared. So 40 squared, that is 40 times 40. You can use any multiplication method to work this out. I'm going to use the column method. 0 times 0, that is 0. 0 times 4, that is 0. So moving down, putting a 0 here. 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times 4 is 16. So 1,600 is the answer. Could have also used this method. 4 times 4 is 16. Adding the two zeros gives us 1,600. Twenty-five squared. So twenty-five times twenty-five. Five times five is twenty-five. So put five down, two carried over. Five times two is ten, and the two we carried over that is twelve. Finished with the units, so put in zero down. Two times five is ten. So zero down, one is carried over. 2 times 2 is 4, and the 1, that is 5. Adding these two together gives us 625. Now we've got to work out 9 squared. If you know your timetables, you will know straight away that this is equal to 81. It is in fact expected that at this level you know your timetables, at least up to 10 times 10. But if you don't, there are some tricks you can use. So 9 times 1, that gives us 9. 9 times 2 is 18. 9 times 3 is 27. 9 times 4, 9 times 5. 9 times 6, 9 times 7, 9 times 8, and 9 times 9. So I'm writing the 9s here. So without even thinking, look at what I'm going to do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
and the units 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So the tens, they go up by one each time, whereas the units go down by one each time. Also, what do you notice? 8 and 1 equals 9, 7 and 2 equals 9, 6 and 3 equals 9, 5 and 4 equals 9, 4 and 5 is 9, 3 and 6 is 9, 2 and 7, 1 and 8, and of course 0 and 9 make 9. So the two digits will add up to 9, in the 9 times tables that is. So when working out 9 times 9, without having to list all of these, you can just go, OK, I multiply 9 by 9. So the answer will be starting with 1 less than that. So that is 8. What do I need to add to 8 to make 9? I add 1. So the answer is 81. 12 squared, so that is 12 times 12, which we did at the beginning. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 1 is 2. Put a 0 down, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 1 is 1. Adding these together, we get 144. Calculate 16 squared. Write the answer in the box below. So 16 times 16. 6 times 6 is 36. So 6 down and 3 carried over. 6 times 1 is 6 and the 3 is 9. Finished with the units. Put a 0 down. Now 1 times 6, that is 6. 1 times 1 is 1. 6 and 0 is 6, 9 and 6 is 15, so 5 down, 1 carried over, 1 and 1 is 2, so 256 is the answer. Work out the value of 15 squared. 15 times 15, 5 times 5 is 25, so 5 down, 2 carried over, 5 times 1 is 5, and the 2, that is 7. Finished with the units, put a 0 down. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 1 is 1. 5 and 0 is 5. 7 and 5 is 12. So 2 down, 1 carried over. 1 and 1 is 2. So 225 is the answer. Work out the value of 25 squared, write the answer in the box below, so 25 times 25. 5 times 5 is 25, so 5 down, 2 carried over. 5 times 2 is 10, and the 2, that is 12. Finished with the units, put in the 0 down. 2 times 5 is 10, so 0 down, 1 carried over. 2 times 2 is 4, and the 1 is 5. 5 and 0 is 5, 2 and 0 is 2, 1 and 5 is 6, so 625. Calculate 17 squared, so 17 times 17, 7 times 7, that is 49. So 7 times 1 is 7, add in the 4, that makes 11. Finished with the units, put a 0 down. 1 times 7 is 7, 1 times 1 is 1. So adding these numbers together, we get 9 and 0, which is 9, 1 and 7, which is 8, 1 and 1, which is 2. So 289 is the answer. Work out 12 squared. So we've already done 12 squares from different exam boards. So that is 144. I hope you do remember that. It's a useful number to remember. Now we move into the calculator questions. 
So this question seems to be linking to a previous part, previous question, which isn't here. But the context is not really needed in order to answer the question. So another property has a kitchen that has an area of 7 metres squared. What is 7 squared? So the important bit is what is 7 squared? 7 times 7 equals 49. Even if you know that by heart, you can use a calculator to check that. Calculate 19 squared. So 19 times 19 equals 361. Work out the value of 38 squared. So I can do 38 times 38, just like I've done before. Or I can do 38 and then press this button here with a square at the top so that it squares it immediately. So 1,444. That is the same as doing 38 times 38. Now we've got to calculate 52 squared. So I'm going to do 52 squared. 2704 and this is the end of the questions